right here in Graz, Austria. We're with the Hydro Impulse team testing their new, highly efficient jet pump propulsion system. It boasts 20% efficiency gains, but doesn't handle as well as a regular propeller. We're gonna put it to the test. So I'm here with Gernot. So he's uh, one of the founders of Hydro Impulse. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company, how you, how you guys got started? And uh, and yeah, what's what's your product? Yes, we started in 2019 with the development of the hydro impulse. Our goal was to to change something in the marine industry according the efficiency of the propeller. Okay. The propeller is one of the big bottlenecks in the power transmission from the motor shaft to the water. So what's it, it, propellers have been used for so many years yes. with like over a hundred years with motorized vessels. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem with the propeller? A regular propeller or leisure boat mm -hmm. has an efficiency fifth, between 50 and 60 percent commonly. So you're losing of all the power that's transmitted from the engine, yeah. you're losing 40 percent of that power yeah. in inefficiency. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the cavitation of the propeller. You see it, the uh, turbulences at the propeller blades, and that's why the efficiency is quite low. The hydrogen bars have three advantages. Yes. 30% more thrust at the bollard pull test. We have 20% more efficiency at low speeds and also at high speeds. Watch this clip again in slow motion. Notice how the exposed propeller blades draw down air from the surface and surround the propeller blades with tiny air bubbles. That's called cavitation, and that's one of the factors causing 40% energy loss. Now compare that with this underwater shot of the Hydro Impulse jet pump. We give it a shot of full power here, and we don't see any air bubbles. Zero cavitation. You guys just did a bollard pull test. Yeah, here. Uh, we did it here. <laughs> what, what is a bollard pull test? A polar pull test is uh, you, you attach, fix the, connect the boat with a, with this, with this, I don't know what it's called. Bollard. Bollard, okay. <laughs> a bit this bollard yep. with a rope and then you give full throttle. Okay. And you measure the power or the force in the rope. So do I understand right with a similar amount of kilowatts, let's say same amount of kilowatts yeah. applied, you have 30% yeah. more power. The polar pole. 30% more efficiency sounds incredible, but is their system actually usable? To find out, I jumped on board their AQS 450 rib, on which they've mounted an Adine electric outboard with their hydro impulse system. So we're here testing the Hydro Impulse propulsion system. So what I'm going to start to do, uh, we're going to do this again by the dock, but what I'm going to do now is do some sort of forward and reverse maneuvering just to test this propulsion system to see how, it, how it's different than a propeller that most of us are used mm -hmm. to. So I'm going to come up. So right away, again, we have this kind of instant throttle response. Um, it's definitely not less than a propeller. If, if anything, it might be even more direct. You get sort of more forward momentum immediately. Yeah, the boat just jumps. So the pump works most efficiently with forward motion, but if I apply some throttle in reverse, I'm still, you can see we're still able to spin around quite nicely. I'm gonna give it some throttle, get us up on plane here. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Yeah, you can feel this instant thrust. Yeah. It's different than a propeller. I don't know how exactly to explain it, but it's still quite nice. You feel uh, it's, if anything, it's smoother than a propeller. And you get this really instant response, even in turns. You're definitely not missing anything with the propeller. It's, yeah, it's like this really instant power and I can apply as much as I want. You know, one of the things that the system doesn't have is, you know, normally with a propeller and outboard system, you have 
the shaft and then you have a skag underneath that helps direct water flow. This has just the hydro impulse impeller system, the water jet pump, which is no skag, but still it's quite responsive in the turning. I'm gonna try a bit of a sharper turn yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, once it starts to turn, it really digs in and turns right over. It's quite nice. I was pretty impressed with the hydro impulse and planing speeds, but how does it maneuver near a dock? Yeah, I want to see what's different about this this propulsion system than a regular propeller. So if I do some maneuvering, like say up to a dock, if I want to come uh, make an make an approach here, right away, I mean, I I get a lot of control um, from the propulsion. It's I feel like I can do some extremely precise maneuvers, just really kind of setting the boat up where I want it. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's quite, quite similar, if not better in terms of control uh, for maneuvering from a propeller. And the other thing that we get, I guess with this system is that normally when you have a propeller and you throw it in reverse, the, the, the stern of the vessel wants to step out because of the, the nature of, the, of what's happening with the propeller. But because this is all directed in one direction, if I throw it into reverse and give it a lot of power, I'm just going straight back. I don't have any of this sidestep. I don't have to worry about this, the, I don't have any, I don't have any sidestepping of the hull when I give it throttle. It's just instant, it's directional control that I have with the system, it's very cool. So same thing, if I, if I wanna spin the boat kind of in one place, just on the single stern drive. Yeah, I've, I feel like I have plenty of control. Just as much control as a regular propeller system, if not more. You know, I, I've never driven this system before and I, I feel totally comfortable doing it. Yeah, I'd say like if you've driven a, a propeller outboard boat, uh, you can do this. It's quite, it's quite nice. So we can see in this out of the water test that the majority of flow is directed straight back, whereas with a propeller, you would get energy loss shooting water off to the sides. I think it's safe to say that the Hydro Impulse Jet Pump is a pretty viable propulsion system. It's efficient, it's maneuverable, but does it make financial sense? To find out, we talked to Alois Bauer, who's the other half of Hydro Impulse. He's also an engineer, but he heads up the business side of things. Um, so what is, can you tell me, what's the price point for this product? Uh, price point for this product, uh, you have to, to mention the whole system. So you can imagine one kilowatt hour is around 750 kilo, uh, euros uh -huh. per kilowatt hour. Uh, when you compare 15 kilowatt hours battery for the big, bigger yes. motor with propeller and 11 kilowatt hours for the smaller one, you have diff uh, four, uh, four kilowatt hours difference. So this means you have 3,000 3, euros, what you can save on the batteries. Then you have around 500 euros with, what you can save on the motor. And then you have an up price around 2,000 euros for the hydro impulse. And so, yeah, you're around 1,000 euros cheaper than, uh, than the normal system with higher power. You're basically saying because of the efficiency of the system, yeah. you're reducing the size of the battery you need. Yeah. Uh, you, you have massive cost savings. Yeah. So, well, you're paying a little bit more money up front. Yeah. You can have a smaller battery, yeah. which batteries right now are expensive. Yeah. Um, that's big. Normally on electric boats, you have heavy lithium ion batteries providing energy for the propulsion. But because of the efficiency of the hydro impulse system, you now need less batteries for the same amount of output. That results in big cost savings on your battery pack. But now, because there's also less weight, you now can use a smaller motor 
to provide the same amount of propulsion. That results in a less expensive motor and battery pack. This also, it seems like the type of system that um, as the boat gets larger, yeah. <clears throat> the more the more basically efficiency gains, yeah. the more cost savings. And if, more cost. if you have a hundred, let's say a small boat like this, maybe has 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. This one has 15 kilowatt 15 hours, kilowatt, yes. But if, let's say you have a hundred <clears throat> kilowatt hour yeah, battery you're, pack, you're, and you're, you're saving 20% of that. Yeah, you can imagine that. We, we have done some calculations with uh, the 50 kilowatt CERN drive that's coming uh, next year yeah um with that compared uh, with this 50 kilowatt hours battery or 60 kilowatt hours battery that's 10 uh that's um uh yeah 10 kilowatt hours difference on the yeah. savings uh and that means with around 600 uh 50 euros a kilowatt hours because the bigger the batteries that's the smaller are the so the price bear 6500 euros 6500 euros Amazing yeah that so and bad. then go a step further the next one will be around 120 kilowatt so this is the x shore and so on 12 000, 13 000 euro yeah you name you it you don't have to spend yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right now it seems like let's see electric boat manufacturers are stuck in this Sort of death cycle where they want more range so they yeah. need more battery power, need more batteries which adds more weight so they need more batteries yeah. to overcome that but you're sort of doing the opposite yeah. from uh being efficient at the propulsion level yeah. where you need less batteries now your boat is lighter yeah. so it can go farther and yeah it's yeah that's yeah very cool system. this is uh, one point we have in our mind but we haven't uh, considered it in the calculations so when you save 20 percent on energy consumption uh, you can reduce 30 percent the range you got it so uh save 20 percent okay and with this 20 percent you can drive more than 20 percent and so you come up to 30 percent yeah. You can get the, the test uh, uh, test sheets, so where, where we have done the calculations, uh, and the same is with the batteries. Uh, take one battery out, 50 kilowatt hours yeah. instead of 60 kilowatt hours, it's around uh, 80 kilo, 10 kilowatt. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's it lifts up. That you're not hauling around with your yeah. With your boat. The boat lifts up, so the, the drag reduces, mm -hmm. so and the efficiency gains more. So it's a, yeah, also a circle. Um, Very cool. Another benefit of the hydro impulse system is is the toughness. There's other sort of jet systems where they're really just sort of too fragile for the water, for the ocean. Uh, a lot of times when you go from aviation to marine, it doesn't quite translate for the simple fact that uh, you don't have a lot of objects to hit in the air. Uh, in the marine environment, there's there's everything. There's sticks, there's rocks, there's mm -hmm. anything and everything is floating through the water. And you need a system that's robust enough to be able to handle that. The, the hydro impulse system, is you can tell that it's built solidly enough. It can, it can take impacts from types of debris and whatnot and keep on cruising. And in fact, there's, there's some advantages where if you have a normal propeller, if you're in a shallow environment and you have a, a rock strike, uh, a strike on the rock. If it's hard enough, uh, you can bend the flukes or you can damage uh, the hub and basically you can lose a prop, you can bend the shaft. But the hydro impulse, because it has a housing, if you strike the bottom or you come in contact with rocks or anything, it's not going to damage the, the propeller, the propulsion system, or the impeller rather inside. Uh, it's totally protected on the outside. Thanks for checking out the Hydro Impulse system with me. I'm Justin from Aqua Electric. See you in the next one.